In this video, we are going to discuss about Cisco Discovery Protocol CDP. So what is this CDP? So Cisco Discovery Protocol is a Cisco proprietary protocol and it is used to know about the information about the neighboring devices which is the router is connected to. So you see it is enabled on all interfaces of the Cisco routers and this is not this is not be used by the other vendors it is only solely purely a Cisco proprietary protocol and CDP can globally or CDP can globally disable by using command in the configuration mode which is called no CDP run. So that means this is automatically it is enabled on the interfaces but if you do not want this to get enabled or if you want to this to get disabled you have to run a command called no CDP run in the global configuration mode. So you see here that each device running CDP sends out a packet every 60 seconds to the neighbors to know the connection is active still. So you see show CDP it shows the information of the protocol which is global CDP information is available and you see CDP packets sent every 60 seconds and the whole time value is 180 seconds. CDP version 2 advertisement is enabled that means this advertisements advertise the with the neighbors so that the link is active every time and each neighbor will keep the information contained with the device for almost 180 seconds that means the whole timer is 3 times of the packet sent in 60 seconds that means if the packet is not received by the other device or the neighbor for more than 180 it will trigger that the line is down. This timers can be changed by using using a command called CDP timer you see in this syntax here that CDP question marks will give you advertisement details hold time sent in packets and also source interface. So CDP timer if you give a question mark here it shows what is the range of the timer and rate at which CDP packets are sent here. So also you can see about router which is our router if you press or if you enter CDP and timer 120 so it will be set the timer will be set to 120 so that the hold time will be 120 seconds here. So coming to CDP hold time also mentioning here that the CDP hold time is again changed to 240 so the range is between 5 to 254 so you can change the advertisement time that is the sending a packet time to the neighboring devices which is changed to 120 here and the whole time also is changed to 240 here. So coming to the third point here is knowing about the CDP neighbors. So you enter a command called show CDP neighbors. So it will show the capability codes and also it will show the device ID, local interface, hold time and also capability. So these all informations are available by if you enter the syntax show CDP neighbors and also here you can see you all see the details in the neighbor details which are device IDs of the neighbors, local interface connected to that neighbors, hold time the hold time between the router and the neighbor devices and capability the capability of sending and receiving the advertisements platform the column shows the device model which is used there the Cisco device like 2960 if you take an example which is connected to the router and port ID through which port it is connected to the router and also show CDP neighbor will show the details of neighbors entirely from which interface it is connected to. So what is the hold time with that interface and also what is the packet sent in every advertisement. So this is all about Cisco discovery protocol and this is a solely a Cisco protocol and no other third party vendors can use this protocol. So by using LLDP link layer data protocol you can uh, do all the functions of the CDP and also the third party vendors also can interact with the Cisco routers. So this is all about the Cisco discovery protocol.